This is video from Rotary Park. You can see uh, taped off sections of trees. The trees snapped in half. I mean, it is incredible just the damage that this storm did. And Mike, I mean, what are you seeing? You know, just looking at the aerial footage of that, you could actually see the trees moving in opposite directions. And that's one of the things that the National Weather Service will look for. If it's straight line winds, all of the damage will be on the exact same side. In other words, it will all be pushed flat. But when it's a tornadic situation, you might see a tree limb here. You might see a circling. Tree here. Yep. So that's why we see mm -hmm. those trees. That's so fascinating. Yeah, wow. and you know, and it was one of the, the toughest storms to identify talking about the tornado. Uh, this was a non supercell tornado. It accounts for about 20% of the tornadoes that we cover and also research, which means the odds are already against you. If you're a meteorologist trying to identify this, they're extremely difficult to identify and track. And that's because once again, you don't have that classic severe weather signature from a supercell storm. Now these are usually fine within a line of storms. And that's exactly what we had that kind of came together over Metro Detroit, formed a line that extended all the way from Wayne County and reached as far north as Sanilac County and was drifting east. So we had all of these ingredients working against us. Now the National Severe Storms Laboratory is working on improving the warnings for these types of tornadoes specifically. So this is not a classic tornado that you're accustomed to hearing about a supercell storm. Uh, this is one that is a rarer and harder to track. And with all of this working against us, guess what? Our TWR, our radar at the airport, that one was also down to the point where it wasn't delivering the information needed to trigger that warning with confidence. So all of that working against us here, and that's why this storm unfortunately did not have the warnings out ahead of it just as it was moving through Livonia. But for days in advance, we were saying that unfortunately tomorrow or yesterday, Wednesday, we were anticipating severe weather.